Hi, this is Frank, super volunteer from Pro Shaper, and Ray wants me to show you guys how to cut a piece for the English wheel that we designed and have been selling plans for. Uh, we're going to cut the number four piece, and I'm going to show you where that fits on the drawing here. So this will be the piece that goes at the bottom here. And we can see it fits right on, and I'm going to show you how to mark it out and cut it. The one thing we found building the other English wheel was we should try and match the seams up. So I'm going to put this seam at the bottom. We cut this end off square with the big Johnson vertical bandsaw. You may not have a big Johnson, but don't be intimidated. We're going to show you how to cut steel regardless of what kind of cutting tool you have. Now, what I'm going to do is hold this flat against here, put this here, and I'll make my mark for the 45 degree angle. Then I can do the same on the other side. I have a square here where I can, here again, hold this up right on my line, get the square on the point so I know right where I get it, right where the point is up at the top. And I'll do the same at the bottom. One of the, uh, as you see, I'm using the square with the pattern and it compensates for this curve here because you don't have a sharp 90 degree bend and sometimes they can be difficult to do. We have a uh, Makita with a, uh, what size is this? I believe it's five inch. Five inch with a five inch cutting disc and a face shield. I probably should have gloves on here, but I'm not sure where they are at the moment. Here we go. They say Frank on it, so I don't have to worry about any cross-contamination. Mark, our cameraman's laughing at my humor. You should have seen him when I talked about the Big Johnson. So, I'm going to start. Here's my line.
okay we got this side cut good this side needs a little touch up I failed to cut the angle here and here you're probably gonna have to take a grinder and touch things up a little bit maybe you're a better fabricator than I am most likely you are maybe you have a big Johnson <laughs> and you can cut the 45 in that which will make it nice and uh, as we can see we got our link cut here we're here along there but the grinder can take care of that and you can get a nice tight fit which will make good welds uh, this is probably the easiest quickest way to do it you'll go through a few cutoff wheels uh, in back of me we have the Luva press that we built Mark can zoom in on that and that was 10 by 6 3 8 steel and we cut that with a plasma cutter you can cut this with a plasma cutter too okay for the next step I have a Makita 7 inch grinder here and we'll with a uh, 36 grit grinding disc on it and we're going to use that to clean up my cut here Okay, that looks pretty close right there. Um, one of the difficulties in cutting this is this stuff is not exactly square, so you kind of got to work around the curves and whatnot. You'll see that this isn't necessarily, if you draw a line square here and here, it may not come out exactly alike. You kind of got to be careful with what you do. Uh, the nice thing about welding is it's easy to fill stuff in for guys like me anyways and uh, that's how you cut the 45 with a cutoff wheel and a 7 inch grinder we uh, we also tried I don't have it here but one of those metal cutting blades on a skill saw and that cut the stuff pretty good but it uh, the shoe wouldn't stay quite square. We had trouble keeping a square cut going through. And uh, But here again too, you can cut it off with that. It cuts pretty quickly and you can go back to the grinder and clean things up and square them up however you like them. And uh, just remember that there's always more than one way to skin a cat. And this is just how we happen to do it today at ProShaper. Thanks for tuning in.